Good afternoon, folks. Guess what I'm talking about today? Yeah, I got some, uh, uh, actually replaced my 10 pound lead production pot. That old 10 pound production pot that I've had since uh, early 2000s was old, and but you can only see the edge of it right here. But my, uh, this is my 20 pound pot right here, I've been doing some maintenance on. But my production pots stay outside right here in front of my old barn here. 24-7, 365, or this year, 366. Uh, the only thing that I cover them with is a tote. So they sit out here in all kinds of weather, and they always work. Up until the other day, I had to replace a, um, an element. I think I can replace the element in my old 10-pound pot and get her back going again. She's she pretty beat up, but well, I think we can do it. And, uh, and I just went ahead and, uh, and replaced it. You guys stand by. I want to fire up the new pot for the first time, folks. I like going back with, with sprue or range lid or a combination of all of it because it's small and gets down in the pot real easy. I keep mine between seven and eight. Alloy needs to be screaming hot. All right, we'll see how the new pot does and I'll get back with you. You can expect your new pot to smoke like a chimney. It's gonna be burning the contaminants and stuff like that off of it, folks. So that is not unusual, that is to be expected. That will burn off. But.
reinstall your cap bolts on your crucible right here. They're quarter inch. Then, to get your bottom plate lined back up here, we'll get some bolts started in it. They are quarter inch as well. Stuff is kind of dinged up and bent. I just get the bolts to line up. They're self-tapping. Once they line up, snug them in. Crucible all installed, new element. We're ready to get this thing put back together. And folks, it is really, really simple. Y'all stand by. Okay. The base assembly right here. You see where your elements go in and your two mounting screws right here? I just left them in the base. Okay, folks. Okay, folks. I had forgotten this, so I'm going to get this straightened out before y'all mess up like I did. You got to get your clamps on your element before you slide it in here. These little clamps that came off your element. Got to get them slid on here just like this. Slid on your element. Just like that. So that whenever you come through here with them then you can get your you can get your nut right here on the other side clamp them in Okay, folks, this is the back assembly where the cord comes out of the base. Mounts on right here. Y'all weren't here when I disconnected it, but one side, one side goes to one side of the element. The other one goes to your thermostat. One side goes to one side of the element. And this is the top plate that has your thermostat on it. And then one side of your thermostat goes to the other side of your element here and then this side from the wall goes into your thermostat right there just like that Reinstall your quarter inch bolts back on the bottom. Install. Reinstall our corner for our thermostat. All right. I'm going to clean the knob up a little bit here and put it back together and we'll plug her up and see how it's working. On this old pot here, folks, <clears throat> I take a piece of stainless wire. and put around the panel right here. It's old. And it just keeps it, keeps it in that notch right there. I've just always done that. It holds it pretty snug in that notch. And it takes that stainless wire a long time to wear out. That's just the way that I've always done it with this old pot, just to keep this thing from flopping around in here. 
so much. My God, I've got a hundred thousand miles on that thing at least. Okay, folks, I just plugged her up. I got a bucket of sprue and all that over here. We're going to drop in here. It feels like it's getting warm. y'all back whenever something's happening. Brand new eight years old and lives outside over 10 years old those are $90 pots now these uh these 10 pound pots they're $90 from Lee site uh, you could probably do better than that finding them on eBay and stuff like that this old pot I've had for over 10 years the element broke in it I was able to fix a $90 pot with a $22 heating element Got it all back. Look at that. Folks, these, these leaf production pots live outside the whole time. Right here on this work table out here in front of my old barn, my old hatching barn where I hatch all my poultry and stuff like that, keep my incubators and all that. These live right here under those totes. 365 a year, they live right here. They do not come inside, they stay outside. All kinds of weather, rain, sleet, shine. Not much sleet around here in the Midlands of South Carolina. But anyway, this is where they live. And all I had to do with a $22 investment and a new uh, heating element fixed a $90 10 pound Lee pot. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Wade Rush, host of the Bubble Round Tree Outdoors channel. We're gonna be back with a lot of stuff here very soon, guys. Bye-bye.